Hello everyone, Kilogin here. Today I'll show you how to install Subfinder application and HTTPX on the Windows machine. First of all, go to the Google and write Subfinder, enter. And here we have the first site, GitHub. If we scroll down, we have the bottom here, install. Click on this and here says Subfinder requires Go 1.21 to install successfully. Run the following command to install the latest version. If you use this command without install your Go language on your machine, doesn't work. I have installed it right now, but I will show you how to do. First of all, find Go language. And we go to the first side to the Go programming language. Click this and go to download it. Here we have Windows, Apple, Linux and another sources. We click left on the Microsoft Windows machine. Click left on this. Let's download it. Click left on this, run and we need to install next, 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 next and install the Go prog programming language. I have it installed it right now and I don't install it again, okay? After you install the Go language, go back to the GitHub and in the downside we have the search button or you can go start and go Power PowerShell. Here in PowerShell, let's check after install the Go language, just type Go. And as you see, work, if we go go dash dash version, no, dash version, where is the version, I think it's go version, you see I have the go version 1.23.2, okay, I have installed it right now the sub finder, but you need to install it, okay? Just click on this button here, or you can just select all this command, click, write and copy, and go back to the power workshare and just right click, okay? And it's pasted. And we go enter, okay? And you will see uh, the program start to install on your computer okay i have it installed right now i don't need to install it it's the same with the httpx go to the github and here installation we have the same another command with go install just select it copy go to the power workshop right click and enter the same with my HTTPX, it's installed it right now. As you see, it works. Now let's use this command. I take a site from the Bob crowd. Uh, as you see, here we have the star in the front of the domain that says you, you can scan and uh, recon all the subdomains what is in the front of this domain okay and i copy this go to my power shell i will clear this and let's try sub finder domain dash domain right click i put the domain and here i can use with this bar i can use another program okay and i use httpx like there's status dash code and enter and now my machine try to enumerate all the subdomains what exists in the front of the lululemons.com and show me with httpx all the status code for the domains okay subdomains and start to scan all the subdomains as you see 
we have more subdomains on this domain lululemon and here with the HTTPX we will see the status code if we have 400 you know it's a server and problem and I and I try to access said me access denied the status code 400 200 says it works you see here it's something like an API or something like that here we have the 300 this is a redirection or private connection doesn't work and that's it guys it's so easy to use the sub finder to see all the subdomains on a domain to try to scan it and the HTTPX helps you to show more what operating system they use what status code and more information you will find on the HTTPX github site and the sub finder okay thank you for watching me have a nice day and if you have question or something like that write in the comments okay don't forget to like share and subscribe have a nice day guys bye bye